Hello friends, recently I have completed my AWS cloud practitioner exam. And this is a foundational exam which I have completed. And in less than 20 days, I have prepared for this exam and then uh, appeared for the exam. So that is how, what I am going to tell in this video where I am going to tell you is how I have prepared for this exam. What are the things which we need to consider as a part of a preparation of this exam? And what are the exam questions which I have prepared? What are the things how I have prepared every day? That is what I'm going to tell you. And I, I hope this is, this is going to be helpful for you. In some cases, if you are going to prepare for your AWS Cloud Practitioner exam. So let's try to see how I have prepared for it. Uh, the very first thing which I have prepared uh, is this course, which is, uh, this is the course from Stephen Marek. Uh, so this is a popular instructor on udemy.com and uh, this course is available on Udemy. I have provided the link for this course in the video description where you can see, I mean, this is the course where it gets prepared you for this uh, CLF C01 uh, exam. So uh, this is what means uh, is the starting point for everyone. I think means we should prepare and uh, this is around uh, uh, 14 hours or 14.5 hours of uh, on-demand video. Uh, not every, uh, we need to spend uh, 14 or 15 hours, but at least uh, 12 hours or something, which is uh, this uh, video may take. And if you, so first uh, you can understand means uh, these are the topics uh, which is very well organized uh, as per the topics like we, uh, what is uh, in, uh, cloud introduction, then uh, what is cloud computing. Then we do have this identity and access management, electric cloud computer. And these are all, all things are with practical uh, hands-on as well. Uh, however, this exam doesn't expect uh, you that we need a hands-on experience. So we, it's just a theoretical knowledge we should be aware. And uh, but but though we uh, to get an understanding of these concepts, it's better to understand the AWS uh, uh, hands-on uh, videos as well here. And this is going to be very helpful. I have gone through this complete uh, course in around 10 days where I was uh, preparing every day one hour, uh, one hour or maybe one and a half hour or maybe sometimes two hours. Every day I was preparing, but I was focused on completing this course first. Uh, so this, is, this was the first uh, starting point for me where I have completed this course completely. And uh, this is a very well organized course. That's what I'm, uh, I know means and uh, by after completing this course, uh, I was able to get uh, more confidence uh, and most of the topics of the AWS cloud because I don't have that much experience in cloud uh, technologies earlier. But but this is uh, something which is very uh, useful uh, to get started. And this course is the first thing uh, which is there. Uh, the next thing um, is before appearing for the exam, like uh, this this course will just give an overview or introduction of all these uh, cloud technologies. Uh, in-depth understanding of the cloud and but when it comes to appearing for the exams uh, we need to have some confidence of solving the questions as well so for that uh, there are other core practices like uh, we do have this uh, six practice exams from this instructor only uh, which is also uh, there where uh, there are six practice questions having 65 questions so these are the questions which will appear the same as uh, to that in the actual exam so we can go through these exams as well however I did not completed all these six exams because I was a bit confused after appearing for two exams uh, because it was too too detailed this question so i preferred some other instructor and uh, there was another instructor who was uh, having these questions as well this is this is another course which is giving uh, 500 practice exam questions uh, this is created by neil davis and uh, you can see these questions again is having six practice questions again having 65 questions so i found this quest, uh, questions more uh, useful and more relevant as well and it was giving me, me confidence of what i have learned uh, so that was something which is uh, this course uh, these questions i have prepared and uh, this uh, from this course i completed uh, uh, three courses uh, three uh, practice questions uh, before appearing for the exams and this this gave me uh, good confidence as well and if you are completing six practice exams questions from this course as well then this is going to be very helpful. I I am sure means after appearing I means after solving these six practice exams, understand the topics and we actually get a good confidence to appear for the exams. So the, the thing is, like we can appear for these questions and what are the topics? So topics I have actually be referred uh, most of the things uh, after I mean suppose some answers I have 
uh, some questions uh, I have answered and some of the topics which I feel means I'm not clear, then I will go through this AWS documentation. So this is on a website where uh, it is available and I will try to uh, understand. So suppose I wanted to um, go to this Amazon Aurora as a database. So the question is related to this, then I will go to this particular topic and I will read it uh, from here as well because this is also going to help actually so not everything but uh, the main basic basic concepts also is available here so this is something which is uh, i will read uh, most of the questions which are there so there are uh, particularly uh, three four main sections like compute storage then database and analytics and then user security and identity so that is something which is we need to understand uh, and what are the components it's come so you can try to go through this particular section as well and just try to see what are the things which are available. Like you can see uh, there are like uh, compute, what comes under compute, which are the components. So you need to understand this. Just keep, keep, keep in mind about this uh, structure. What are the containers? Uh, so this is going to be helpful as overall understanding of the questions uh, when you appear for the exams. What comes under storage? What comes under the database? So this is important to uh, keep in mind because this is this this helps in the exams. So th this I have done. Then there is a architecture as well. Uh, AWS well architecture. Uh, this is also important and where. Uh, this is something which is I have gone through some of the topics here and understood this architecture. Uh, then there is one more share responsibility model. Most of the questions were out of this share responsibility models. And uh, this diagram is very much uh, important. Like we need to understand what is the customer's responsibility. So whatever the blue section here uh, is there, uh, that is something which is a customer's responsibility. And this is orange one are all AWS responsibility. But the questions will be tricky. Uh, they will uh, ask me what is the customer's responsibility or what are the uh, things which is part of the AWS responsibility or customer's responsibility. So this diagram is very important and we need to understand this because, and then uh, if you understand this, all these topics means what is all uh, this um, compute storage database networking. So you, this is important, compute storage database networking regions, availability zone and age location. So all these topics are very much important. And uh, if you understood, then what comes under compute, what comes under storage. So for this, you can go through this, uh, all these topics. And uh, this is very helpful means you will understand um, means all these things. So I would suggest if you appear for these six practice exams from Stephen or from this uh, instructor as well, then this is going to be very helpful. So this way you can prepare because uh, this course is important. Second is appearing for practice exams. You have take any of the exams like from any of the instructor, but this is very useful. I'm providing the link of all these courses and uh, exam practice questions uh, there. Uh, this is important. And just to let you know that this exam is does not expect anything practical experience. So don't worry about that. If you are unsure, if you have not have any experience earlier in the cloud technology, don't worry. Just understand this course, go through that course, and you will get everything from the basic of the uh, of the cloud. And then once you are understood that uh, this all these cloud technologies, then you can appear for that exams, uh, practice exams. Uh, so practice exams are very much important because that is going to give you, you know, confidence to appear for the exam. Once you have given this. Uh, practice exam, then you are sure that you can appear for the final exam. So I hope this video is going to be helpful for you in some way where I try to explain means whatever the things. Uh, the only thing is we need to be focused, uh, spend at least one hour every day for 15 days and in next five days appear for the practice exams and then you should be able to appear for the final exams. I wish you all the best.